What is up everyone? Today I am potentially taking a really big risk. Now this is my only Mac that I use. My MacBook Pro is pretty much knackered as you guys know. I still haven't received a new battery for it and you know I've got PowerPC stuff knocking about and stuff and my Mac minis and stuff but as far as editing and my day-to-day -day life goes this is the only machine I use. So of course reliability is really really important. But putting that aside, I still love to make entertaining videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to install Yosemite straight up from the App Store right now with my PC NVIDIA GeForce GT640 installed. Now, as you guys know, uh, I don't have EFI on that card, so I don't get the gray boot up Apple spinning logo thing. Don't know how much of that is needed with installing a new OS. Don't know if the new OS presents any problems with this card. I don't even know if it's gonna work at all. I might completely mess up the machine and I do not have another graphics card to put in it. But, you know, I thought I'd take the risk. A lot of people recommended that I put it on a second hard drive, but I thought it would be more exciting just to take the risk right here, right now. So, on the desktop here, I do have d uh, drivers that I downloaded straight from the NVIDIA website that are meant to be uh, for the 600 series of cards, G4 600 series for Yosemite. Of course, uh, I can't install them yet because it says I'm running uh, a non-compatible operating system because they're designed for uh, Yosemite. And I have pre-downloaded Yosemite, so there it is, install Mac OS X Yosemite. So uh, without further ado, let's get into this and see what we can do. So I've just done a time machine backup, everything's backed up, so I've got all my stuff. It's safe and sound, I don't need to worry about that. All I'm going to do is hit the button now and uh, see what we can do. Let's install. It'll launch the uh, installer application, I assume. Yeah, there we go. Continue. And then it asks me to agree. Yes, agree. I want to install it on this drive. Uh, yes, it will be installed on that drive. Type in my password. And boom, here it goes. First stages of preparing the install. Your computer will restart automatically. So, no turning back now, guys. <laughs> awesome. Let's just watch it, actually, because this says 20-odd seconds, so it should restart pretty much straight away. Now, of course, I don't have EFI, so you won't see the grey screen. So we'll probably have a black screen for ages while it's doing something, um, which is going to be quite scary. But hopefully it just boots up to the desktop and uh, and does something, really. I really hope so. Okay, so what does it say now? Your computer will restart automatically in 24 seconds. Okay, let's restart it ourselves now. Here it goes. Your computer is restarting. And here we go. We should get a bomb. Or maybe not. Maybe nothing. Maybe just black screen. Is that it? I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to get anything else, guys. So I've literally got to wait here and um, just wait here, really. And the funny thing is, I can't hear any of the progress either because um, my primary disk is, a, is an SSD. My uh, secondary hard drive is obviously going to spin down and it's installing it onto the SSD, so I can't even hear it ticking away, so I don't know if it's doing anything. Plus, you know, it's a Mac, so naturally there's no uh, activity LED on it or whatever. So, um, yeah, don't know if it's doing anything. Just got to wait it out. Black screen. I look forward to this. This could be me messing my map right up, but you know it's a risk I'm willing to take. Hey, what did I say, guys? Worth the risk, eh? Here we have the installer, and that is, yeah, pretty much your basic Yosemite installer. Both displays are powered up. Let me just pan over a little bit. You can see that display powered up. Nice, cool. So, uh, yeah, it was black screen for ages while it booted up, and that was obviously when the Apple logo was spinning. And uh, now we have this. So this is perfect, couldn't have gone any better really. I'm very happy with this guys. It says only uh, less than a minute remaining. So, wow, that just jumped from around four minutes. Yeah, speedy, very speedy. Of course, doing these are gonna be a lot quicker these days. Um, going onto an SSD, it's all on the SSD anyway. Um, I mean, gosh, you know, from a disc onto a hard drive, so much slower. This has taken maybe 10 minutes maximum and uh, you know i'm not saying it's done yet but you know because it's got to restart and stuff and this this end bit will obviously take a while but yeah i mean 
so far so good. Oh, look at me guys, I'm an absolute disgrace. You can see here how just dirty my screen is. Haven't cleaned them in ages. So when I'm doing my new desk setup, that's part of what I'm doing is I'm cleaning everything, gonna go over everything. Um, so yeah, just waiting for this. Waiting for this to install. Ah, oh, perfect. Here we go. Here it goes restarting. Of course, we're gonna get another long black screen, I suppose. Um, yeah, while well, it's meant to be spinning Apple logo. Restart. Restart. Ooh, I like the new buttons. Very blue. For some reason it's spinning up all my hard drives. I can hear all my externals spinning up, but that's probably just something that it does. I'm actually quite anxious, but the fact that it's installed it now is looking good, so in theory it should just boot. Um, so black screen for ages. And, uh, and then straight to it, I assume. So here's the black screen, no signal on either of the monitors. Weird how there's no bong, but I think I had my volume turned down. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, yeah, fans have spun up as if it's booting up, so that's cool. So I assume it's starting up as we speak, guys. So it normally takes much, much less than around 30 seconds to start up, even though this is uh, an old install and on a not, not a brand new SSD. It's still a Samsung 830, so it's a really decent SSD. And I get super good boot up times with this machine. Um, I used to leave it on 24 seven. And, you know, if I was uploading a video, I used to leave it on 24 seven or whatever. But with this SSD, there's no point. It just starts up like that. So, you know, so pleased with that. My phone's going crazy in the background, guys, but come on. You can do it. I can hear some hard drive. Oh, what have we got? Yes, cool. Okay, so we've got some display. We've got some display. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, nice. Okay, so it's decided to swap the uh, swap the screens, but it's just saying completing installation, about seven minutes remaining. Fabulous. So guys, I literally just looked down at my phone for a few minutes, and I was chatting away there on, uh, just chatting to someone on Messenger, and, um, look back up and I've got a black screen. So I assume that 10 minutes or seven minutes or whatever it was passed and we're restarting again. At least I hope that's what it is. Uh, I hope there's no options on the screen that I've got to click or anything like that. But, you know, who can tell really? So I think it's doing something, but it's, it, like I say, so hard to tell. I'm just gonna keep a much closer eye on it now. Should have been keeping an eye on it really. Um, but, you know, I thought I was good for about seven minutes. Oh dear. More time has passed. Uh, significantly more time. Three, four minutes. Uh, yeah. Panic station starting now. Just slightly, just slightly. But, you know, my fault. My fault. I took the risk. So I've got to take all the stuff that comes with that risk. So if it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, okay, it's my fault. I'll have to sort it out. But at the moment, I haven't got anything. So, this is quite interesting. I'm just going to sit tight here with my fingers crossed for a little while. I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm losing the plot a bit now. You know, I get a little bit nervous when stuff like this happens. This is my main system and I do everything on it. And I, I'm so stupid to do this. So stupid. But, you know, I, I just really, really love living on the edge and doing random stuff. So, uh, hopefully this fires up now. I really hope it does. Boom! Check this out. Yeah, right, let's type in my password. Ah, uh, guys, I knew it was okay. I wasn't panicking for a second. <laughs> oh, God, that took a while. Boom. Yeah, baby! Look what we've got here. We have got it. Oh, yeah. Uh, sign him. All right, I'm gonna fill this crap in, guys. Check it out, guys. Look who's running Yosemite. And look at those hard drive icons. Ooh, police car just caught it. Check it out. So, no problems. Wow, it's all new. Let's have a gander at the dock then. <gasps> oh, it's like going back to Tiger. I haven't even got it in the frame. Right, guys, I'm gonna have a massive play with this. Without any modifications or installing anything, we have Mac OS X Yosemite and it supports the GeForce GT 640 one gigabyte. Sorted. I couldn't ask for anything more. Super simple. 
Well guys, it's a couple of hours later. I wanted to wait that little bit extra just to give you guys a full update on how it went. And you know what? This is smooth. So I'm running the dark theme. I freaking love it. The dock is gorgeous. Everything is gorgeous. Really like it so far. I'll probably be doing a Yosemite follow-up video within the coming weeks, three, four, five weeks time, just after I've used it a lot to see uh, what it's like and whatnot, but at the moment I am loving it. So if you guys have a Mac Pro with a G4600 card, a PC series G4600 card, don't be afraid to upgrade, just ignore all the black screens and everything will be fine. Just patience is key. Um, it really is, and I'm so glad this upgrade worked. It detects my card, it knows exactly what it is. It detects what my displays are. There are literally no graphics related issues. So I'm really, really happy with this. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a fun one. I've actually really enjoyed making this video, believe it or not. Um, OS upgrades are always extremely fun, and this one had that added uh, risk element to it, which I love. But anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.